How do I know that my Ramadan was accepted by Allah? And worrying about your deeds being accepted by Allah is a sign of Iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Mu'minun, وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْتُونَ مَا آتَوْا وَقُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَةً أَنَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ رَاجِعُونَ Those people who give what they give, when their hearts are trembling, fearing that they will be returned to their Lord. The Prophet ﷺ explained, this is the person who prays and gives charity, but fears that it will not be accepted by Allah. So being worried about your deeds being accepted by Allah is something that is absolutely fundamental to a person's Iman. And we should all be like that. But the question is, how do we know that our Ramadan was accepted by Allah or wasn't? In reality, we have no way of being sure that we have some signs that indicate to us that we had a good Ramadan. The first can be found in the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَيَزِيدُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ اهْتَدَوْا هُدَىٰ Allah gives gives an increase in guidance to those who are guided. Some of the scholars mention in the tafsir of this ayah that this contains the secret as to whether your deeds have been accepted or not. If you conclude your deeds and then you are given an ability to continue and do another good deed after that, that is a sign that your deeds have been accepted. So let's take for example Ramadan and Eid. If the day of Eid is a day of obedience, a day where you still pray your Qiyamul Layl, a day where you still pray in the masjid five times a day, a day where you still read the Quran, then this is a huge sign that Allah Azza wa Jal has accepted your Qiyam and your reading of the Quran and your prayers in Ramadan. If however the day of Eid is a day of disobedience to Allah Azza wa Jal, a day where you stop praying after you prayed five times a day, a day where you disobey Allah and you turn away from the Quran, then this is a sign that perhaps there was something flawed in the way that you performed those deeds in Ramadan. So ultimately, it's all about preparing for what is going to come. Ramadan was a training program. So look at the day of Eid. If on the day of Eid, you become more obedient to Allah and less disobedient to Allah, then you got something out of this training program. And if on the day of Eid, you become more disobedient to Allah and less obedient to Allah, this is a sign that the training didn't quite have the desired effect. And we need to turn to Allah in repentance so that Allah can replace those bad deeds with good and Allah can take us away from that situation that we might have put ourselves into. So really now towards the end of Ramadan, get your eyes firmly fixed on the day of Eid. Plan that day to be a day of obedience and nearness to Allah, a day of happiness. You know, we ask Allah to accept our siyam and our qiyam, to accept our fasting and our standing in prayer and to accept all of the other deeds that we have done in Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for the deficiencies that we have had in this month, to overlook them and to pardon us for them because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is afuun and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves al-afu, He loves to pardon. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pardon us.